Yeah, so trading computer is the ability to remain calm and, and serene and collected and equanimous amidst the, the, the highs and the lows of, of trading of the market, but particularly amidst the lows, amidst the, the, the adversity, amidst the losses. Because look, it's, it's relatively easy to maintain your calm and clarity of thought when, when things are going your way, when, when life is going like a calm river, right? But where's the merit in that, you know? You, you, you want to be able to remain calm and steady and equanimous when the going gets tough. And so Wally and Sons, one of the leading publishers of financial literature, they, they reached out to me asking if I was interested in, in collaborating with them on, on a book project like that, on writing a book on how to do that, on how to maintain that composure, that clarity of thought, of, of, of that, that behavioral consistency. And I found the idea compelling. I mean, you know, I've written books before, but they were mostly self-published. And, and while still meaningful, they, they lacked the, the rigor and, and the polish that this new book offers. The central idea of, of the book is, once again, it's trading composure. It's, it's a guide on how to maintain that stability of mind as one goes through the process of trading, of, of engaging the market. Look, I, I'm, I'm not standing here on a pedestal discussing this topic. It, it's a particularly meaningful topic for me because I myself have struggled with this, with, with composure. I might look uh, and, and sound rather calm and stoic on the outside, but I'm a deeply emotional guy at the core. And, and that's why the writing process for me was filled with moments where I find myself tearing up or just smiling, right? As I reflected and jotted down my ideas on on my, my thoughts on the challenges and, and triumphs of of trading and life in general through my own experiences with the market and also through the work that I do with traders and, and finance pro professionals in general in, in my coaching and, and consulting practices. I've, I've noticed that um, I've noticed a few recurring pain points that traders experience and, and I list them in the book. One of the core ideas I express is the importance of understanding and embracing uncertainty a huge part of this game of of the trading game of, of this journey is about doing that it's about accepting uncertainty um, embracing it flowing with it and 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 not just conceptually uh, intellectually right experientially deeply soul deep as a trader you have to get to this point where uncertainty doesn't uh, represent a threat to your to your, your well-being, to your sense of self-worth, to your financial stability. You you absolutely have to get to this point, one way or another. It has to happen. This is crucial to your success as a trader. You you have to get to a point where uh, you're you're approaching the market with a um, what Mark Douglas calls a carefree state of mind. What Nicholas Darvis refers to as Remo removing the human element, what I personally call trading composure. And this directly links to one of the core ideas of this book, which is emotional resilience. If, if winning trades give you a buzz and losing trades make you depressed, trading is not going to be sustainable. It's just not going to work for you. You have to find a way to get out the emotional roller coaster. Now, now I'm not saying you have to be some kind of saint or monk to be a trader. No, what, what I'm saying is that you need a greater ability to manage yourself, to, to regulate your emotions, to, to maintain that clarity of thought in, in the heat of trading, in the heat of, of, of the market, right? And, and this is crucial. And what I'm also saying is that anyone can develop this, provided there's a will. There, there are lots of solutions out there. Lots of ways to do that, to get better at managing one's emotions. In, in this book, I offer a clear and time-tested and reliable framework for doing that, for maintaining that emotional stability, that, that trading composure. So all in all, writing this book was, um, it was a great learning experience for me because it allowed me to find different ways to express these ideas that I've been sharing with the world 
since 2014 or so. Um, and, and this process allowed me to reflect and, and come up with different analogies and thought ex experiments uh, to, to make these ideas more memorable and, and, more, and more impactful. But yeah, it was a real pleasure working on, on this project. And the name of the book is Trading Composure, Mastering Your Mind for Trading Success. Uh, I invite you to check it out if you're interested in exploring this fascinating topic that is trading psychology. I can't promise that you'll read this book and, and immediately be successful, but what I can promise is that the book will make you think, okay, and not outside the box. There, there's no box, right? Just think. And, and that process of thinking, of exploring, of um, examining will put you miles ahead in your journey.